The 20th of July 2016, Elon Musk put out the Tesla Master Plan Part 2. Elon Musk and Tesla had already put out the secret master plan in 2006. Well, it wasn't really a secret, it's been on their website for 10 years. The first master plan summed up said this. 1. Build sports car. 2. Use that money to build an affordable car. 3. Use that money to build an even more affordable car. 4. While doing all of this above, also provide zero emission electric power generation options. As their product line shows, this first part of their master plan is now almost fulfilled. And it's time for the Tesla master plan part 2. For someone like me who is very optimistic about how technology might benefit humankind, it's very exciting reading. I'll try to sum it up. First. Create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage. Tesla has already launched their Powerwall, a big wall-mounted battery for your home that will store the energy you produce from, for example, solar panels. Now they want to bring the firm Solar City, which makes solar panels together with Tesla. This way it will be easier for customers to buy a single energy production and storage solution combined. The possibilities of an affordable energy producing and storing solution like this is tremendous. There are roughly 1.5 billion humans on earth without electricity. And the costs to build out a traditional power grid to cover all of them is extremely high. It's labor intensive and it takes a long time to do. So the idea that one can deliver self-contained solutions that isn't in need of a grid and which produces green and free energy to the most remote places could, in the best case scenario, improve the lives of 100 millions of people. Number two on the plan is to expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments. Tesla has made a sports car, a luxury sedan, SUV and the coming Model 3, which is going to be their most affordable electric car. The next vehicles are going to be a more compact SUV and a pickup truck. But more interestingly, they are going to produce what they call the Tesla Semi. This is a heavy duty truck and buses. The truck shall be more efficient, safe and fun to drive than regular trucks. And the buses will be revolutionizing as well. We need to improve public transportations in dense urban areas and we need to do it fast. Cities are getting more and more cramped and there just isn't enough room to put more cars in them. But the alternatives to driving your own car is in many places very bad. The new type of a bus that Elon Musk is proposing is going to be smaller and lighter and rely heavily on self-driving. There will be many small buses that can then be summoned on your convenience and presumably drive you more directly to where you need to go. The self-driving capabilities or autopilot functions is a huge part of the future of uh, Tesla vehicles. They want to develop a self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than manual driving. Tesla has of course already introduced a beta version of the autopilot, which makes the car capable of driving itself. It's being used by thousands of Tesla drivers and it improves constantly by uploading the driving experiences with the corrections made by the human driver to a shared network which then benefits the whole fleet of cars. Musk's believe that 100% self-driving cars is the future, and it makes sense looking at the statistics. Even now, with the autopilot in beta version, it's far safer than manual driving. The beta mark will be removed when autopilot is 10 times safer than manual driving. Self-driving vehicles is also crucial for the last part of the master plan part 2. They want to enable their car to make money for you when you aren't using it. A car is just used 5-10% to each day by its owner. The idea is that when you're not using your car yourself, you can let it drive around itself and uh, driving passengers and then generating income. That would be like Uber just without a driver. That would of course make it much more affordable to own your own car, but you wouldn't really need to own one at all. And that's it. That summed up the vision for Tesla's future. This open approach is of course very refreshing in comparison with, for example, the Apple way of 
doing things. But it's nothing new for Tesla. They had of course the master plan part one 10 years ago and a couple of years ago they released all their patents free for everyone to use. The goals of this master plan is of course extremely high. But so was also the goals in the master plan part one, which now is almost fulfilled. The one sure thing is that we need a sustainable future. And this would be a huge step in the right direction. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video please check out my channel and uh, please subscribe.